Well, there was no snow day for Lola <laughs> in the Lowdown newsroom. She's been busy compiling the top animal stories of the week. Here's the Lowdown. This week in the Lowdown, Lola found one clever cat. A baby who found her perfect pillow. And a pup who found his perfect pillow. But first, Valentine's Day has come early to the Detroit Zoo, whose residents are enjoying some romantic goodies. Zookeepers gave heart-shaped pinatas to the wolves and ice treats to polar bears and camels. The penguins received special rocks that were painted by guests. When a male penguin finds a mate, he embarks on a search for a suitable stone to give his partner as a gift. If the female accepts the pebble proposal, the rock becomes one of many they use to build their nest. How romantic. Cool cat Leela doesn't let being partially sighted get in her way. The one-eyed feline was caught red-handed trying to open a door. The courageous kitty was trying to get to her best friend, Mac, who was being fed his medications in the adjoining room. Eventually, Leela figures it out and is reunited with her buddy. A six-year-old purebred Newfoundland is turning heads with her snow-blowing skills. Apparently, Morgan is good with the light, fluffy snow, but if it's a little wet, she has some problems. Morgan, who is sometimes called Miss Goo because of her drooling, has also learned how to cook hot dogs over an open flame. But it's the snowblower that's turning heads. She can go up to 60 feet at a time. Good girl, Morgan. After all that snow blowing, it's time for a nap. And Haru, the Shiba Inu, is the perfect pillow, building quite a bond with a new baby in the family. She sits patiently while the baby boy is fast asleep on her back. Haru even turns her head to check on the little guy, give him a few kisses. Who needs a babysitter when Haru is in the house? And finally, after a long week, Lola can identify with Kabamba, a sleepy beagle who doesn't want his sleep disrupted. The five and a half month old does not want to give up his spot on the couch. And who can blame him? Kabamba's owner filmed the little guy's bedtime stubbornness to cheer up his unwell fiance. And he cheered all of us up too. And that's this week's edition of Lola's Lowdown. Thanks, Lola. Get to work on that snow. Have a great weekend.